Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a thrift haul. I went to the bins and I also went to a local thrift store near my house that I frequent eh, probably like once a month. And I am very glad that I went this week. So, um, I have a few things that I got from the bins. and all at the bins, I spent $23.00. Or excuse me, I spent $32. I bought 23 pounds. And I mean, I didn't find anything really awesome, I guess you'd say. I got just basic bread and butter items. Um, but they'll they'll sell, I'm, I hope. I'm sure they will. Um, but anyway, I will start showing you the stuff that I got. I'm not going to ramble in this video. So this is a CC. It's like a um, Intarsia knit uh it's like a sweater but it's a top I, I can't really explain what it is but yeah it's cute right all right um i grabbed star i always grab star wars stuff even though i know it doesn't sell for me um it's just some star wars leggings that was it i might just keep those for myself i don't know i got a bunch of beanies um like a little meatball beanie from um Oh, I done forgot the name. My name is Sheikh Zula, the Mike Hula, the old schooler. Anyway, that one, that's where I got this from. <laughs> and then there's this cute, I guess this one was probably handmade. There's no labels in it, but it was really, really cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell those. <clears throat> uh, this was just, uh, it's an Avia. Um, it was just some shorts. But they had like the biker shorts underneath them, so I thought those were interesting. Um, and obviously, I'm gonna be pulling out some things that I'm not gonna go through on this haul. So this was a brand that I had never heard of. It's Red and Apple, and it was really pretty. That's why I picked it up. I figured the brand wasn't anything special, but I still got it anyway. I think it's a tunic. I could be wrong, it could be a dress, but I'm going to list it as a tunic top. Oh, and I will show you the label. I don't know why. It's not even that good. I looked up comps, but all I could find was European. So, um, I looked up one comp and it was like 32000 I was like, oh my gosh. But, yeah, that's just another country's money. Okay, so this next top is a Lane Bryant. It is a striped sweater. I want to say it's got some metallic knit. Uh, it's got metallic thread in it. Um, really pretty. I like the back because on the back it has this um, split. And then of course it's got the sheer bottom so it kind of looks like it's layered. Really cute. I got another piece of Lane Bryant. And it's like a turtleneck. It's a chunky sweater. Um, it's different, very, very see-through, um, but really soft, and it's like a purple color, I guess, a dark purple. <clears throat> this is Lafayette 148. Um, it has these, like, I don't know if you, I'll try to show it to you, but it's kind of rough, not ruffled, but like, I don't even know what you want to call it. But it's got some cute design around the collar area. It's just a one-button cardigan. Um, apparently, these sell, well, they comp pretty well, and they sell pretty well. So we will see. I've never found a piece of that before. So um, These are BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. They're just some cutoffs, and I just got those because, you know, spring break. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, this is a J. Crew, a white stretch mini skirt. Um, same reason, spring break. <laughs> this is a loft, which I never pick up loft, but I like the top. It's just like a shimmery. Um, I mean, to me, it looks like animal print, which I know it's not, but I'll try to bring it in closer for you to see. All right, this is Bethany Moda, which was like a YouTuber. So I guess she has, what is this, her merch? I don't know, her, her brand. 
Um, it's just like this cute little fox sweater. It's a really lightweight, light knit. Um, and Bethany Moto. Moto. Alright, this is a Cynthia Rowley. So Cynthia Rowley, it really doesn't sell that well on Poshmark, but if you look up on thread up on their payout estimator at the Cynthia Rally dresses, they apparently pay out really well for their dresses. So I'm confused about that. I don't know if Poshmark's basically just driven the price down so low that nobody lists high anymore. I don't know. It's it's weird. But anyway, so Cynthia Rally. Um it's just like a sheer strapless dress, very thin material, perfect for the beach maybe it's what it reminded me of like tropical a parrot all right this is Eileen Fisher it's a medium this is Italian yarn let me see I really like this sweater it's 50% yak and 50% wool um, but it was I mean it's gorgeous I love the coloring of it I'm pretty sure this one will sell for a decent amount. Probably, it'll obviously probably pay for the entire haul that I got um, from the bins. So it's always nice when you do a thrift haul to try to at least pick out one piece that you're almost 100% sure that you will be able to pay off that entire haul. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, and of course, I have failed trying to do that many times, but I still try to do that. <clears throat> All right, so this is, I don't know. I don't know if this is the label or if this is just the material or the made tag. It says made in Italy. I don't know if that is a brand. If you know, let me know. <laughs> but it says just made in Italy. That was it. It's just this little peplum top, but the material feels, it feels kind of like a linen mix. But it was really cute, so I just grabbed it. Um, I don't know if you can actually see the stripes. But it's like stripes made of stripes made of it's just really i don't know if you can see it very well but it's really different i haven't seen anything like that before but it's just the way it was sewn so i don't typically pick up victoria's secret anymore but this one was an older one and it was 100 percent silk anytime i see like silk or linen um anything other than polyester or rayon <laughs> I will usually pick up because those materials are nice. Um, this is Victoria's Secret. It's just a silk cami. Really pretty. That's it. Just a silk cami. And I'll show you the label because the labels, it is an older label. So vintage, I guess. This one's J. Purr, but it's not, you know, it's a cheaper brand, but it was pretty. Um, here's the label and it's just this floral top just a dress top it's got shoulder pads in it um, but it's got some cat hair on it too probably my cat's hair where she is so I have a white cat and it's a pain having cats and trying to sell clothing because I don't let them in my inventory room <laughs> But sometimes the cat hair is on me, so I'll be doing stuff with the clothes. And <laughs> yeah, I'll end up seeing cat hair, so I have to take time to get all the cat hair off of things. Um, yeah. Okay. So here is a Denim and Supply RL Tomboy. Um, it's extra large. It's just a plaid top. Um, it's pretty. I do need... So in this lighting, it doesn't look bad. It kind of looked dingy under the arms. And yeah, it's a little dingy. So I'll take some um, shout and just kind of put that in and wash it when I wash it. This was new with tag, so I grabbed it. It's Brandini. Um, apparently it's just a cheaper brand, um, but it's a sweater. I think it's a man's sweater. Oh, yeah, it's got to be because it's really large. But anyway, it's just this men's sweater. I'm not going to put it up for much at all because, I mean, it's not going to go for much. It's cheap made. <laughs> but 
this is Venus. I pick up Venus quite often. They do have some cute things. Um, I can't say that I sell it for a high price, maybe 15 bucks. But I have seen where the comps of sold comps are like 35 and whatnot. And I know you can't sit there and be like, oh, well, it sold for 35 because it could have just been in a bundle. So I don't know. But I sell them for about 15 bucks. Um, you can go through my closet and look up my brand on the Venus stuff that I've had, and it'll tell you. I'm pretty sure it's been like 15 bucks, something like that. But um, it's a like a romper, a strapless romper. Shorts. It's gray and black. Um, I picked up some t-shirts. I don't really know why, but I did. Just a Peanuts t-shirt. You never know. This is a Lucky Brand Extra Small t-shirt. I always pick up Lucky Brand t-shirts because they are well liked. Um, this is a cheaper brand, but I like the floral on it. It's by Jennifer Eden. And this is 55% Raimi and 45% Rayon. But anyway, I like the um, stitching on it. It's really pretty. The style of the shirt is kind of a fitted top, so that as well. All right, this is Ann Taylor. It's a size 10 dress. It's, from what I can tell, it's in good shape. Like I said in my previous video, sometimes when I'm photographing things, that's whenever I'll see the hole or a light coloring on the top. Um, it just, it just depends. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, just a black dress. It's a shorter dress. I'd say it's like a right below the knee type of dress but it's um it's really pretty let me show you the material up close really really cute just ann taylor size 10 is a good size um but it's strange because when i go out and i buy items that are a larger size those sizes start sitting and the smaller sizes start selling the next is another Eileen Fisher. This is a large, it's just a basic top. It's got some cotton on it. It's just a purple um, cotton top, long sleeved, nothing fancy. I mean, it feels really nice. It's in good, sh good, it's in good condition. So, um, these are Lucky Brand, like they're not cutoffs, but they look like cutoffs. But they're just these yellow denim shorts. Spring break. <laughs> um, this is a Tahari. And it's like a sweater. A black sweater. I got it because, well, I usually get Tahari stuff. But if you see, the sleeve has this like really cool looking detail to it. Um, unfortunately with my photos, when I do photos, nobody can really see that detail unless somebody's actually wearing it. So that's why I like to try to find a stock photo for it because if, I mean, even if I don't put it as a cover photo, just putting it in the listing, um, just so they can actually see, like, you know, maybe, I don't know, crop like the arm part only or something, you know? But anyway, it's got that detail, which I thought was gorgeous. Um, and it's just a black sh a black sweater Oop. and it only has it on one side yeah it's on both sides um <clears throat> this is american apparel classic girl i think i think this is a t-shirt dress but it could be a tunic <laughs> So it's just like the striped material. I'll show you a little paper tag. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't really know. I mean, I haven't really looked everything up yet, like really looked it up. I just went on Poshmark and typed in. Um, that was one thing I don't think I did comp. So I'm like, well, American Apparel usually does pretty well. 
Um, this is Matilda Jane. I'm not going to show it. I mean, I'll show it, but then I got it home and realized there's a hole in the crutch. But it was just some cute little girl britches. Um, but yeah, there's a hole right here. I mean, I could pay to have it repaired. It sucks. Well, no, that's not going to be repairable. I typically take um, items that, you know, that are going to sell for a good amount. And I'll take them to the dry cleaners near me because they will repair as well. And so, like, I have a theory dress about to go to be repaired. The hem came out. If I would have just took home ec, you know how much money I could save? <laughs> I really don't know how to sew, and it's sad. Um, this is another dress I have to take. It's a Kenneth Cole. Um, it's probably not even worth taking, honestly. Put the hems out on this one as well. Um, I really wish that I had taken home ec. Um, I don't know. This one just kind of stood out to me. It's nothing extravagant. It's, it's cheap, cheaply made, comps suck, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, so, I might keep it for myself. I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's kind of ugly, but it's, this is pretty. Like, this is ugly. I don't like that, but it's got like the quarter sleeves and stuff. Just a tunic top. I'll decide what I'm going to do with it eventually. I don't, I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, this is another Eileen Fisher. And it's just a cotton dress. It's blue. And it's a midi. Alright, this is a Pendleton. Um, it's an older tag, and it's kind of like a cropped blazer, so I thought that was nice. Um, I don't know. I don't, I mean, this one may sell, because this one's a little cuter. I have two Pendleton blazers in my closet right now. They've been sitting for a while. They got a lot of attention, but no takers. I've had the price high, I've had the price low, I've had it in between, and I just kind of flip back and forth. Um... But, like, the plaid one that I have, it would look so cute with, like, some, you know, I don't know, maybe the style's out. But, like, some cuffed jeans and some loafers or something. It would just look really cute. But, nobody wants it. Um, this is Maine Beaucher. It's an older brand. I just got it because I like the sleeves on it. They're kind of poofy. So, that is why I picked it up. Because I have poofy sleeves, not because of the brand. I got this for myself because I get very hangry sometimes and I'm a, and I'm an a-hole and my boyfriend. But anyway, it just says sorry I was hangry. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I'm gonna put that over there. Um I picked this up because I didn't know what it was. I didn't really feel like digging through my phone. My phone was at the bottom of the bin in my purse, which is a big mistake. Don't take purses. If you can get away with just putting stuff in your pocket, do that because I, I'm an idiot. All right, so this is Mario Serrani. It's nothing, nothing extravagant. It was just a basic white top. I don't know if it's got some staining on it or not. I can't, I don't see anything. But anyway, it's just... Just the top. I've almost actually gone through this whole bag and I said I wasn't going to, so I guess we're just going to go through everything. Um, Banana Republic, just some shorts. Um, these were all in one bin together, so I, you know, I grabbed a lot of shorts. Um, uh, they're all size fours. These, they're kind of textured. Um, I believe those ones were textured as well. Banana Republic and Banana Republic. Another t-shirt. This one is an older Super Mario. This is Garage. I've never heard of the brand. I don't know if it's good. Um, but they're just pink cutoffs for spring break. And then there's the gloves to this other thing that I have. Um, I found this. <laughs> So we have a restaurant here in Columbia that's called Hugh Hut, and apparently it's a store as well. But anyway, it was something that was probably bought off of Amazon. Um, it was still in the bag, so I got it. 
and it was just this cute little it's like a crop top a little black crop top I thought it was cute so I got it okay so that was that bag okay so now I'm gonna go through the things that I got from the thrift store near my house and I will start with the shoes first I got a few pairs um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get for them I was unable to find the majority of them on Poshmark or online so um, the ones that I did find information for I will let you know but in fact where's my paper at okay so the next bags that I'm gonna go through I have comped everything in these bags this was my best haul um, in forever so this haul is after I tallied everything up um, you know MSRP price all that kind of stuff like $3,400 um, will I make that much when I resell it on Poshmark probably not <laughs> nowhere close but I spent $75 in all I think it was 78 say I had a 4% debit card fee but anyway so $78 and um, I got 25 pieces so I'm gonna go through this bag and show you what I got now some of the stuff I had to kind of guesstimate prices but um, this first one is their Cynthia Rally. I'm just going to show you one shoe, but they're both fine. They're in good condition, except for the bottoms kind of suck. But these are Cynthia Rally. They're just these cute little leather flats. These are the Geist New York. Um, I guess they're a little older. These are size nines. Um, they're in pretty good condition. I could not find them anywhere online. Um, but for the ones like them that I found, they retail for like $200. I don't know if those were just guesstimates or not by the poshers that I looked up. So whenever I go on Poshmark to look up original prices, and I usually typically always use Poshmark, I will um, take whatever item it is, I'll look it up, I'll go to the condition in the filtering, and I'll put new with tags, and that's usually where I find it. I'll look through their pictures until I see where they put the, you know, the tag, so I actually see with my own eyes. Or if I see multiple items of the same and they all have the exact same original price, then I'll use that one. So that's what I do for original prices. Okay. This is Stuart Weitzman. Um, they're like in absolutely excellent condition. They're just these black, um, I guess they're called kitten heels. Black sandal. They actually have the tag still on the bottom and it says $325. Um, I did see one pair on Poshmark that sold for 20 and they were new and I was like what <laughs> so I don't know um, you know they're black so I think white shoes are about to come back whatever I got them anyway they can sit if they want to sit but you never know some people still wear black so yeah So these are Jeffrey Campbell and these are really cool. Now I did comp these um, more of a guesstimate because I could not find the actual tag. I did see where these are sold at Free People. Um, but the thing that's awesome about these, and I will show you, like these are brand new, like they've never been worn ever. Like they're perfect condition. They do not have a tag, but not, they're new without tags. Um, but the sequins on here, you can actually, it's kind of like those pillows where you can push the sequins back one color or the other. That's how these shoes are. So it goes silver or pinky purple. So that I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much these sold for. I'm just going to say 98. Um, that's what everybody else was putting. Um, some people had a little bit higher than that, but I don't see how these would sell for over $100. So yeah those these are called mucklux the only thing with these is i cannot there was no uh size label and i hate it and i know i said i'm not gonna get shoes without a size label but these were so cute i could not not get them um they have like sequins on them as well and they were probably with the same lot who donated all of this stuff that i got um so they're probably eight eight and a half i'm gonna have my daughter come over and try them on because she is a size eight so i will be able to guesstimate hopefully correctly, <laughs> but
but these they're kind of they look kind of like Birkenstocks I know they're nowhere close but um, they're cute and I don't know if you saw the brand Mucklux I went on their website most of their stuff right now is just boots I grabbed these because they looked they looked expensive they looked very beautiful. The coloring was beautiful. The detailing, everything on this shoe. But I really couldn't find this exact shoe, so I don't know. Um, the shoe is a size 7, but it's gorgeous, okay? Now, first of all, it's the coloring is perfect. I love this coloring. The heel is so pretty. On the back... And it's Jay Vincent. Now, if you're not familiar with Jay Vincent, it is Vince Camuto. So Vince Camuto, that is his first name. John, what John Vincent Camuto is his name. So Jay Vincent was his first initial and his uh, middle name. So I guess this was a failed company that he started. But I mean, these shoes are really cute. They are tiny, but they're in excellent condition. Even the bottoms aren't that bad. Like, I mean, I've seen a lot worse. The coach sandals I bought were really bad. And they still sold. So, um. Alright, this is another pair of Cynthia Rally. It says Cynthia, Cynthia Rally. So I think it's that. I don't know why they do that. I, I'm not familiar. If you know, I tell me. Because I see like Michael, Michael Kors, that kind of stuff. So that's what this one is, is like that. But it's just this pointed toe, embroidered, flat. I thought it was really cute because of the embroidery, or the stitching, I guess you call it. Um, so I got those. Alright, so that was all of the shoes. Um, so I'm going to go through these clothes real quick and we will be done. Um, this one I'm going to have to take downstairs and try to treat it, I, I think. Or not. Maybe that was just a piece of, oh. yeah, this has like a little tiny spot of what looks like ink, like a little tiny little pin size, but it's one state, which is sold at Anthropology, um, probably Nordstrom too, but it was just pretty, it's polyester, just a polyester blouse. It's like a coral color. It has this. Let me see if I can stick my big old arm up the sleeve to kind of show you the detailing. But it's got that detailing up the sleeves and on the back as well. <clears throat> um, this is Flory, which is also Anthropology. I have never seen this tag before, but I've only found two pieces of Flory in my life. So um, it's a paint that's what it's called a brush stroke top is what it's called brush stroke it's a tunic it's got like sequins really pretty um, these are just some true religion women's jeans I mean they were two bucks so I got them um, just boot cut I think these are the Becky style and they are size 28 so not too bad let me make sure. I actually just had a case opened, and I'm going to start, and I'm going to tell you also. Um, so I had a pair of um, AG jeans, and they were in perfect condition from what I saw. But apparently, there was a hole right here beside the pocket. I had no idea. Like, I had no idea. So when you're getting jeans, make sure that you go through and look and take very good close-ups of your jeans because I had no close-ups of that. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to take pictures of all of my jeans because that's the second pair of jeans that I've had that somebody said there was a hole in the pocket. I'm like, how is that even a thing? Like, I looked at the photo I had of the jeans and you could see there actually was something there so I knew she wasn't just saying it because sometimes in my mind I'm like, well, what if this person has the exact same pair, okay, but they ripped a hole in their ass, so they're going to buy my pair, and then they're going to take and return their old pair, you know what I mean? So you want to make sure you're able to prevent that from happening. I learn from my mistakes 
often. Even though I can sit here and tell people, don't do this, don't do that, I still do those things myself. All right, so the next item I have is the Edme and Esli, which is anthropology. Um, I forget the name of this top. I already, oh, I have it right here. Okay, so this was the Edme and Esli red ruche sleeve. It's called the Estri Henley. It only retails for 68 bucks. So, of course, I'll sell it for about 20 But it's just cute little Henley. <laughs> Um, this one right here, I saw the name, I was like, yes, please, give it to me. This one is Tibby, and it is a cream bodysuit. It retails for $298, or thereabouts. I couldn't find the exact same one. I just compared it with other. So this one's Tibby, New York. It's just this cream bodysuit. Um, that's it. <laughs> Just a cream bodysuit. I didn't see anything wrong. Like, somebody had to have donated all these clothes at the same time because some of the brands are just like, or the, the items. This area doesn't see that. <clears throat> okay, so this one is Cloth and Stone. It's Anthropology. It is this cute little cold shoulder, long sleeve top. It's kind of like a denim, um, not completely denim. And let me make sure it looks like that on that side too. It's got like the ruffle and it's got the drop hem. So um, this retails for $54. I could not figure out for the life of me where this company is. It's called Jimmy's with a Z. Um, the only thing I found was like a men's store. Um, but this is not a men's shirt. So it's just this cute little denim top. That's all. Alright, this is a Silk Lily Pulitzer maxi skirt. Um, I don't know the name of this print. I'm still trying to look it up. Um, so this dress has two slits down both sides. Very, very pretty. Um, excellent condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. So, it was just donated. Thank you, Marie Kondo. Um, this is Urban Outfitters, Yaya. Um, I just thought it was pretty. It's a polyester top, but it's like purple with these beautiful pink flowers on it. It has the zipper on the front. Alright, so this one right here did not have a size label, did not have a brand label, but it did have the label with the RN number, and of course I looked it up. Um... The RN number was 98292, and it is Tibby as well. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Tibby or Tybee? No, it's not Tybee because Tybee would be T-Y. All right, so this is a Tibby. Um, it's just a purple silk top, and it's got like the roughly little sleeves. Kind of cute. Um and the pleating in it but yeah there's no label no size tag so I don't know what that does um, I did find one online what did they have it listed for um, it retailed for 249 they had it listed for like 40 I think um, this is just a pair of Zara crocheted it's like a squirt um, they said that crochet stuff was coming back in, which it always does. So I'll probably just put these up for like 20. I love this. I don't know if it's really worth anything, but it's a 12 by 12 Los Angeles. I don't know if it's like a boutique or what. It looks like a boutique item, but it's really cute. My daughter, she thought it was ugly. I was like, whatever. I think it's pretty. But um, it's just this cute little top. It's got these little, like, you know, gemstones on it. It's in excellent condition. I mean, but yeah, all the buttons have the gemstone things on them. So. Um, this one is called White and Warren. 
and it is a cashmere sweater. I checked it for holes. There were no holes. I believe this one comes from Nordstrom. I believe. White and worn. It retails for $310. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to price it at. But it is cashmere. So I will see. I'm not really able to find a lot of these on Poshmark that are already sold. So this is just a pair of North Face pants size fours. Um, they're like the convertibles where you, there could be either shorts or pants. So I like to get the convertible stuff like that because a lot of hikers um, are very thankful for those types of things. So <laughs> I've sold a pair before like that. Oh no. Well, now I see why this was there. Anyway, so this was events. I did check it for holes, but apparently I completely missed these. Good thing I found them. So they do have some holes, so that's unfortunate. Two little holes. Um, but regardless, it was a cute sweater, and I thought I got lucky, but it'll go in the trash. Um, this is a Doe and Ray, which is sold at Buckle. It's just a blouse, like a chiffon blouse. Um, nothing extravagant, just a basic bread and butter item. Um, this is Catherine Malandrino. And it's just a button up top. It just looked weird, and that's why I got it. It just looked odd. And, I mean, it smells really good. I don't know what perfume that is, but oh my gosh. It smells so good. But it's a button up top. It's really funky looking. It's ruched and it's got this fringe stuff going on. And then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and the last item was this Sissiko. I don't even know. Sissiko. It's just a kimono. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I did not see any runs in it, but yeah, so that was everything that I got. Um, like I said, I tallied everything up and it all retailed for about 3000 Of course, I'm sad now about that Vince, that cashmere sweater, because that was cute. Yeah, sometimes you still miss stuff. Even when you check, you still miss stuff. It's just part of that, but at least I didn't pay that much for it. I think I paid like $2.00. So, um, I'll easily fix that price. I'll easily be able to make that back. Okay, so that is it for the haul. I'm going to go and edit these videos, and I will try to get them uploaded soon. Um, also, if you have not entered the giveaway, be sure to enter. You have until April 1st to enter. The giveaway will end um, at 11.59 on April 1st. I will be contacting the winner on April 2nd, and if they reply on April 2nd, I will be announcing the winner on all of my social media accounts as well as making a YouTube video congratulating them so be sure to enter the giveaway and I will put that link in the description below so I hope everybody has a great night and I will talk to you all later bye